You know, one of my first ever vlogs was supposed to be a travel vlog, but I never got to release that travel vlog. Welcome back to another vlog on Tanish Vlogs. See, this year is 2019, right? Back in 2016, uh, me and my family went on a trip to Krabi, Thailand, and I vlogged it. But if you go to my YouTube channel, you can never find that vlog. Because for the past three years, I've been keeping it without uploading. All the footages are there. None of it has been uploaded. None of it has even been edited. Let me show you guys a clip from my first ever vlog for this channel, okay? This is my first vlog. Why am I vlogging? It's because I'm going to Krabi in June. And I wanted to do like travel vlogs and stuff like that. Like Tanish from the past said, that's my first ever vlog. And why did I start vlogging? Because I'm going to Krabi in June. And if I scroll down, look at that. This was on April 17, 2016. See this hard disk? These are the files in that hard disk. And check it out, Krabi trip. 7 June 2016 Krabi trip vlogs is my attempt to edit the vlog which never happened The only thing that I have edited from that Krabi trip is the title montage You know like the title intro sequence that's the only thing that I edited I think I'm gonna play it now Check this out Not bad right that was Three years ago, not bad, not bad. I really like that intro sequence. But then beyond that, I don't think I edited anything. Actually, no. I think I edited some part of. Let's see what what have I edited so. So it looks like I actually have like about three and a half minute footage of uh, the Krabby trip, like the first day of the Krabby trip. We went on a four day, three night trip. A little bit of backstory before I show you guys that clip, right? Now back in 2015-16, a lot of my friends were going to places like Krabi, Phuket, etc, etc. And they were posting pictures of like the beach and all that. And you guys know how much I love the beach and you know, island and tropical stuff. And I was dreaming of going to places like Krabi. And then eventually I managed to convince my family, all of us, to let's take a trip to Krabi. And we all went on the trip and I was so excited. Just because we were going on the trip, I bought this. This is the GoPro Hero 4 series. I bought this GoPro just because we were going on a trip to Krabi and I wanted to vlog the entire experience and vlog I did I have a total of 146 GB worth of footage from the four day trip all right that's the backstory this vlog is gonna be about that Krabi trip I'm gonna show you guys footages from then I'm gonna tell you the story of the whole trip but before that let's watch the 3 minute 30 second vlog that I already edited which I think I edited in 2017 or 16 itself let's watch that it is now about to be four o'clock in this weird ass looking clock. Now I'm all awake and dressed. Teddy girl, why am I awake and dressed at this hour? That's because we're going to Krabi. Where are we going? Krabi. We are going to Krabi. Yeah la, we're going on a vacation, what? Uh, yeah, but like please, like now. Can la. If you ask me to stop, keep, I'll keep la. Okay. You won't get it. There. Huh? Okay. This is aeroplane. Wow, aeroplane. <laughs> Look, aeroplane. Aeroplane. Look at them tiny vehicles. That is a wing. That is another aeroplane. And those are tiny little humans. And that is a S to us. She is so pretty. Aeroplane, no aeroplane. Aeroplane, no aeroplane. Aeroplane. The plane has landed and it has stopped. Right now we're in Krabi, it is all sunny as hail. It's gonna be fun. This is the Tiger Cave Temple, apparently. But there's no tigers, so go fucking figure. Look, there's a tiger. Hi, tiger. Team, look at this temple. Damn. Look at that tiger. Look at that gong. 
Look at that tower. Look at that tree. Why are there no leaves? First of all, let me just say, I'm sorry for the cringe fest. That was the past three and a half minutes. As you can clearly see, I had a totally different style of vlogging back then. And also, look at this. What is this? Where is all the hair? What, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Man, I looked funny without beard back then. All right, now bear in mind, I sucked at vlogging back then. I couldn't even hold the GoPro without shaking it everywhere. So the footages that you're gonna see are not gonna be good. That's the reason why I never actually made it into a proper vlog. But I feel like it's still a very favorite part of my life. It has to be up there as the best trip, best vacation I've ever had with my family. So just, so just excuse the shitty footage, all right? Sale food monkey. I don't know if they're selling food or they're selling monkey or they're selling monkey food. I don't know. Nobody knows. Initially, we went to the Tiger Cave Temple and for me, at least, it was very, very boring. I hate visiting temples because it's basically just statues and don't do this, don't do that signs and that sucks. So boring. I want to go to the beach. Then right after the whole temple thing, these tour guides, they brought us to some random ass shop in the middle of nowhere to have duck noodles. This is this weird ass shop in like a kampung-ish area and it was weird. And I swear to God, the food tasted like shit and none of my family members and nobody liked the food i tried to be optimistic about it but looking back it was quite shit and after all that nonsense finally the bus took us to aunang aunang is the beach area of krabi welcome to aunang krabi la playa resort we reached our hotel and it wasn't time to check in yet so we decided to go swimming Then after all the swimming, we checked in. Then we left to go Jalan Jalan for the night. And there was this very interesting uh, street food. Some sort of pancake thing. Turns out it was roti chanai. But on the roti chanai, they put like uh, peanut butter, Nutella, banana, banana, jam and all kind of stuff. And it was like pancake. And holy shit, it was delicious as fuck. I remember having it and I remember ordering like two, three, four more. It was amazing. And then beyond that, it was just pretty much explore the beach road, you know, the stalls and the shops and everything. The second day at Krabi obviously had to start with the hotel breakfast. You guys know me, I told you, my entire family loves hotel breakfast. So we were just there smashing that hotel breakfast like one plate after another and after another. So anyway, once that was done, day two was all about island hopping. We took this four island hopping tour package thing. But then yeah, we got on the boat and trust me, my god, that was the boat ride to all these islands was like the best view I've ever had in my life. It was the most beautiful thing I ever seen in my life and I still cannot get those images off my head three years since the day that we went on the trip. On the third day after breakfast, we got ourselves on a tuk-tuk and we went on a drive to this place called Altale. Now the drive there was gorgeous, just mountains and trees and etc etc. Now Altale is a place where you can go kayaking and I swear to God, to this day that kayaking experience is the best ever thing that I've ever experienced in my life both in terms of an activity and a visual treat if there's anything in the world that could beat that four island tour it was the kayaking trip And then at 
one point we sort of like turn a corner at this huge rock and we see this tiny little beach in like a cave like area between the rocks so beautiful the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in my life and i'm not exaggerating when i see this like those sights those scenery is just amazing i couldn't believe it as i was standing there looking at all these things and i still can't believe it to this day just how gorgeous those places were and then from there we went to this random ass like lake it was like a deep ass lake with some sharp rocks underneath and the water sort of flows in one direction so you need to like sort of keep up and not get like washed away Then immediately after we were not satisfied with the place so we went back to the hotel and jumped into the pool again. day day 4 we were supposed to come back but in the morning me and my family just the five six of us we went to the aunang beach to just like chill there go for a little swim and everything and we took like a lot of pictures we were doing some funny ass like jump and catch the hat type of like poses and all that stuff but there was a really fun family moment now once i was done we checked out we got on the bus we drove back all the way to krabi town got on the airport and came back home So that is like what happened during the entire Krabi trip. I had to eventually make this vlog. And I swear to God, looking back at all these footages, it just makes me miss the beach, miss Thailand, miss Krabi as a whole. I, I, I am, I'm having this strong, strong urge to go travel to Krabi again. Like I feel like going Krabi or some other, I don't know, like just go to Thailand. You know, all these beaches and I just should I? Should I should I should I like go to Krabi again or maybe something else like Krabi Koh Samui there is Phuket let me go check like well, how much is the flight tickets Ah uh. Earlier I told my mom that I wanted to go to Phuket. My dad just came back now and I told my dad. Uh, my mom was like, "Alona." My dad was like, "Alona." But then he was like, "Okay, go be careful and all that." So I <laughs> I've never done this before. I never impulse travel first of all, and I've never solo traveled in my entire life. Uh, should I should I should I just should I book it? Should I just book it? Uh, should I just fuck it and book it a ticket to Phuket? Let's do it. Ching, 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 ching. Wait, hold on. I haven't even checked if my passport is still valid. You know? <laughs> This is my passport. Yes, when does it expire? 2021. We are good to go. And company details for tax invoice purposes. Okay, I'm about to make my payment now. Fuck it. Okay, fuck it. I booked it. <laughs> I have done did it. Booking confirmed. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go now. I can't I can't not go. I've already have <laughs> to. So, I guess that's it. What started off as an episode looking back at my Krabi trip 3 years ago. I have now booked a flight for a solo trip to Phuket this month January and I've also just booked my accommodation so I guess I'm going to Phuket this month. I'll let you guys know when and where and everything when the time comes but stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys same time same place tomorrow on Tanish Vlogs. All right, ciao.